Hello everybody, yes, I'm making one of those videos and it honestly just feels a bit surreal. It feels like just yesterday when I got my first job as a data analyst, but that was over five years ago. And it feels the same way for this YouTube channel, but that was over three years ago. There's just been a lot of things that have changed in the past five years, and I feel like the Alex from five years ago could never have seen where we are today. You know, it just feels, it feels a little bit surreal, like it's not actually happening, but it's happening and I'm quitting my job. Now, I just wanna share everything with you about why I quit my job and kind of what I have planned for the future because it's gonna be very, very different. Now, I wanna apologize ahead of time. I was writing this script out, you know, kind of what I wanted to share and how I wanted to share it with you guys. And I was getting very emotional, you know, I was I was tearing up just writing it. And so I have a feeling, um, I have a feeling that at some point in this video, I'm gonna tear up like, you know, I am right now. But, um, you know, I'm gonna try to share this with as least tears as I possibly can. So let's start off with why I quit my job and then we'll kind of get into like what I have planned for the future. So I've been a data analyst for over five years, three years at my current company and I became an analytics manager about a year ago. And the company is good. It's a pharmaceutical distribution company called Amerisource Bergen. They've been very good to me, a very good company. Paid me very well, you know, right now or as of last week, I was making over 125,000 per year, which is just mind blowing. I never in my life thought that I would be making that kind of money. Like it just had never crossed my mind. Never, I, I always thought I'd be making like 50s or 60s for most of my life. That's kind of what I had envisioned before I you know, changed careers and became a data analyst. And everything was going really good. I had my full-time job, I had my family, I had my YouTube thing. Um, but kind of these three different things were growing in the background and they all kind of collided at once. And these three things are by far the biggest reason why I quit my job, even though things were going really well in that job. The first thing is while I was doing my full-time job and doing my YouTube thing, and the YouTube stuff started growing, a lot of companies started reaching out, wanting me to consult with them, wanting to get my opinion on things. And so, you know, over the past two years, I've kind of been doing that on the side, just taking small projects where I would either come in and build something for them, like a dashboard or some pipeline or, you know, help integrate a product, or I'd be helping them with their content side, kind of reviewing their product, giving suggestions, um, you know, offering my services and knowledge in the YouTube content area. And over the past two years, it's just been growing and growing. And it's gotten to the point where I've started to have to turn people away or turn down a lot of projects because I just don't have the time. And a lot of those companies that I would consult with and a lot of those projects paid pretty well. And I started to run the math in my head and I'm like, if I did that project for one week, it would basically be a month's salary and I could get you know two more projects and get a lot more money. And so it kind of became this thing where I honestly was almost losing money staying at my full-time job. The second reason is that beyond all of these things, my full-time job, YouTube, consulting, I've also been trying to create full-length courses because as much as I love, you know, making these courses and series on YouTube, I just don't get to dive really deep into them. And I'm a person who I like to dive really deep into subjects, learn it really, really well, and I want you guys to learn that as well. And so I've been trying to do that in the background. It's just, it's been going slowly because I have all these other things on my plate. I honestly feel like I recommend so many other courses on this channel. I'm like, you can take this one, but you know, you don't really need to pay attention to this part, or you can take this full course, but it teaches R and it doesn't teach Python. My thinking is, why don't I just build out exactly what I think you need and go really in depth and create my own line of courses? So that's the second thing. I just really wanna do that. I have a passion for teaching and, and teaching you guys these things and I really feel like I can make some fantastic content that would really, really help a lot of people. The third reason beyond all these other things that we've talked about is something I've been working on in the background for the past year and it's really starting to take shape. I can't really announce everything just yet, but it is really close to being done. I'm super excited to share it with you because this is something that I think I am most excited about beyond all these other things that we've talked about, whether it's consulting, the YouTube, or building courses. I think this is the thing that I'm most excited about. It's gonna be something called Analyst Builder. I will make a ton of announcements when it is finally launched, but it is gonna be huge, and I'm super, super, super excited about this one. So those are the three biggest reasons why I'm quitting my job. And honestly, you know, my full-time job was just, is kind of holding me back from being able to pursue any of these. You know, I just couldn't fully pursue any of them because I was working my job full-time. And with all the time that I'm gonna free up not having a full-time job, I'll be able to really invest in all of these projects. And this is absolutely a huge risk. I had a full-time job with a great salary making about 130,000. 
I had a 401k benefits, insurance, all of these things. And on top of that, with the consulting, I was probably making another, you know, 65. On top of that, probably close to around 200,000 a year. And by quitting my full-time job, I am basically getting rid of my main source of income in hopes that all of these other things that I'm building will make it worth it. And so I'm gonna be living off a little bit less money for a while, and that's okay. Um, my wife is fully on board, and she knows how incredibly passionate I am about these things. Like, I, I've just been, talking about them, probably nonstop, probably annoyingly at some point, just about how I really want to pursue them. And we talked about it and, you know, it's just, it's a risk that we're willing to take. We want to see if it can go the distance. We want to see if this is something that I can build and I can grow and I can really put my all into and make work. And this is the part where I'm going to tear up um, because I just, I couldn't have done it without you guys. Um, you know, this YouTube channel, this community has meant a lot to me and the support that you guys have given me, um, the, the feedback that I've gotten over the years, the just the support in general has just been amazing. Not just on YouTube, but on LinkedIn and on Twitter. Um, it's, it's, again, it's just, the word is surreal. It's just, I feel like I'm a different person than I was five years ago. Um, and you guys are, you know, a big key and a big part of that. I, I wouldn't be able to do these things, I wouldn't be able to pursue these things if, you know, you guys weren't out there watching my videos, supporting me, um, you know, just helping me along the way because, you know, this, it's a lot of work, but you guys make it worth it. Um, and everything that I'm doing is, except for the consulting maybe, um, <laughs> but everything that I'm doing is, you know, for the community and, it, and I feel like it's gonna give back in a big way. And I'm really, really excited about it because I feel like, you know, having the experience and knowledge that I've gotten doing this and creating the, the content for the last three years, like I'm going to be able to create some amazing stuff for you guys that you guys are going to love and is really going to help the community in a big way. And so all I ask moving forward is that you guys just continue to support me, support the channel. And I hope you don't mind if I have to take on a few more sponsors along the way to pay bills, but um, I promise you it'll be worth it. I'm excited. I'm a bit nervous if I'm being honest but I'm extremely passionate about these things I'm going to be working on and I'm going to give it my absolute all. You know, I have a family I have to take care of. I got three kids, so I'm going to be putting my absolute all into these projects. So thank you guys so much just for everything. I've had to do this take a couple times because I keep tearing up, but um, just thank you. Just thank you for everything. It's, it's meant a lot.